Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner talking about noise today. I did a video a couple days ago on how to set levels. The basic gist, in case you missed it, was don't clip. There's no bonus points for recording as loud as possible and getting just shy of clipping. You're going to end up clipping and ruining it and going to have to redo it. My suggestion, my recommendation is to record at nice conservative levels. So if this is clipping, this is the lowest section on the meter. I'm usually right here in the middle. Nice, easy peasy. Got a couple of questions that I thought might come in. Uh, there was one down here where Terry said, can you talk about noise floor? And then this question up here that says, basically talking about if you record at conservative levels at like a 32-bit recording and then you bring it down to 16 or 24-bit, there's going to be this aliasing thing that happens and it just it's all mathematical and not really the point. Um, but I want to address specifically noise because... I think the people who focus the most on noise a lot of times tend to be the people who aren't making music. I know, I know that's harsh, but noise is not as big of a deal as we like to think of it. If anything, noise is an excuse to not make music so we can hunt down and fix that noise problem. So what do I mean by noise? Well, the, one of the phrases used in those comments was noise floor. What is the noise floor? I'll demonstrate it for you using that guitar amp. Okay, you hear that? Amp noise. I've got this amp cranked, and there's just general noise in the room. Now, when I play my guitar, we would expect the guitar to be a lot louder than the noise, but if I don't set up my gain right, if I don't hit the right, put this on the right volume, or if I mess something up, it's going to sound like this. You can hear the guitar. But the noise is pretty close in volume to the level of the guitar. The noise floor is here, the guitar level's here. Ideally, we'd like those to be farther apart, like this. There's a little noise there, but it's proportional, right? The noise is down here, the signal's up here. Signal, noise, signal to noise. Signal to noise is a ratio we use sometimes. Noise floor is just the name of that kind of the steady noise of a given system. Okay, now back to recording. Recording systems have their own amount of noise. It's not as much as a guitar amp, but it's there. The, the circuitry of the preamps, the microphone, they all have their own little bit of noise floor. Back in the old days, recording on analog tape machines through big noisy consoles, that noise floor was a lot more prominent. So one of the things you would do back then was push the level as high as you could go to make that distance between level and noise as big as you could get it, okay? We're in digital systems now where that noise floor is substantially lower than anything we had in the analog tape and big analog console days. So let me prove it to you. In the last video about levels, we just did a spoken word recording. Here's a Studio One session where I recorded the same vocal part, literally just me saying, hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Um, three different times, in the same position, same sitting right here into this microphone, but I set the preamp level to three different preamp settings. You can see it here. The first one is at 3 dB, second one was at 23, and the third one was at 43. Um, so the idea here is this particular preamp shows me the actual number, which makes it a little more precise. Now let's take these three and let's normalize them. Normalizing is where it looks at the audio, it measures the loudest peak, and it brings that loudest peak up to just shy of clipping. So it's like literally turning it up as loud as it'll go without clipping. Now this might be a little bit loud, so I'm gonna bring these faders down, maybe 6 dB just to, just to make sure it's not too, too loud. So we've normalized it, we can see it looks almost exactly the same, we can almost line this up perfectly because I've said that, hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner about a million times. So I'm very consistent with it. Um, and let's just listen to the difference between the three. So we'll start with the 3 dB. I'll play a little bit of sound before I before the, the vo vocal begins. Then I'll play the 23 decibel preamp. Then I'll play the 43 decibel preamp. Let's just listen, then we'll talk about it. Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Okay, what did you hear? I'll give you another hint. Let's loop this little section here before the vocal begins and listen to each of them again.
they got progressively quieter. But also what I noticed is the 23 and 43 decibels, they didn't sound too, too different. Um, but the three decibels had significantly more noise. So this is, this is the point that I want to show here. It's, it's, a lot of people want to get really nerdy and scientific about this. And there's a level of you can't do audio without being a little bit of a nerd. But the idea here is we recorded the same signal. And it sounds, my voice sounds pretty much the same on all three. Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. So we have effectively recorded the same sound and since none of them's clipping we're good to go but if i was releasing this as a podcast or a video i wouldn't be happy with this amount of noise behind my voice it's just unnecessary and the reason for that isn't because i drove the preamp too loudly it's because i had it way too low let me uh let me set the preamp to uh three and you can see what it looks like on the meter one second testing one two three testing one two three you probably couldn't even hear me because that was so quiet, but you could see it was hitting down here like below negative 48, like a massive difference in volume. And therefore, the noise floor, which is going to be down here at the very bottom, is very close to the level of the vocal. So when we took both of those and turned them up to get them to a level where we could hear them, uh, we, we turned up that noise as well. So yes, there's an element of what we do where we want to record loud enough to avoid any noise floor issues but not so loud that we're clipping. I think a lot of people think, oh no, I must get as close to clipping because otherwise there will be a terrible noise floor. The only real example where there was a terrible noise floor was the first one where I forgot to turn the preamp up almost at all. And it was a great question about what about noise floor? Should we be worrying about it? And it's like most things in life. Like if I get into something, I get really into it. Like I get into running and then I think I want to run every day or I get into like working out. I want to do these really hard workouts every day. Um, or I want to, it just turns out most things need moderation, right? Uh, I don't need to go all in or nothing at all. There's probably a middle balance area. That's the way it is with setting levels. And the reason I focused so much in the last video on not clipping is because that's what most people do. They think it's just this natural kind of, I don't know, human nature to turn things up as close to as loud as they'll go, turn that amp as loud as it'll go. But with this, with a digital system, when you're recording a vocal, if you go too loud, you're going to clip. And if you haven't seen the last video, clipping sounds terrible. It's not what you want. It's great as an effect after the fact, but you want the recording to be clean. And you can always turn things up after the fact, but you can't always turn things up turn things down once they've clipped and get rid of the clipping. And this shows that as long as you're not being silly about it, don't be so scared of clipping that you record way down here and you have the noise floor issue, but don't be, don't think that because the one at 23 dB was a little bit louder than the one at 43 that you've got to freak out about it. Just turn it down. Just get it to where it's hitting somewhere in the middle and not clipping, but not super low and you're good to go. Don't worry about the rest. Don't let the nerds scare you. I promise you it's going to be fine. Focus more on the music, but it's good to know these things exist so you can find ways to troubleshoot them. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, would you do me a favor? Would you share it with a friend? That's my ask for today. Thanks for watching. See you.